like to share a little story. I think it's a kind of a, there's two things. That, <clears throat> and this is concerns of how I remember my brother. We were very, very close, as Dolores had mentioned. Uh, we, we, uh, we grew up together. We started La Casa together. And we worked together until, until he left us. There's two things that I remember my brother by. And I'll remember this till the day I die. Two things that happened in our life. Well, three actually, because I built a coffin. But that's, that's, that's already done. Uh, the uh, emblem. Cesar was the kind of person that everything he did had a purpose. A lot of times I couldn't understand that at the time when it was happening, but it had a purpose. Maybe it took me years to realize when I thought he was wrong that he was right. And so there's two little things that I wanted to share with you. The, the emblem, the, the Thunderbird, I designed that. He commissioned me to do that. He commissioned me to, to come up with a, with a symbol, an emblem, because he says we have to have something where people see it, they know who it is. And he was right. And so he commissioned me to do something. So I, I, I was the, the artist in the family, so he, he came to me. And I, I started, like he said, like an eagle, a symbol like an eagle or something like that. So I, the first thing that came to my mind was the Mexican eagle. So I said, OK, I got them kind of I drew like the Mexican eagle. And instead, of, uh, instead of standing on a cactus, it was standing on some grapevines. And you know, I just made some few changes. And although it was, was nice, I thought it was a nice, when we <clears throat> presented to him, we looked at it and says, you know what, Richard, this is very nice, but, but it's going to be hard for most anybody to reproduce that. We want something that anybody can, can draw, that anybody can reproduce. And so I went to the, to the, back to the drawing table, and I came up with this square lines, you know, like the Thunderbird, everything square lines, and also. And I showed it to him, and he really kind of liked it. He says, I think this is, I think we have it. He says, just kind of refine this and refine that. He says, you do, the, you do the artwork, and I'll choose the colors. And so I designed the Thunderbird, and he shows the colors, the red, white, and black, you know, says because they're striking. It, it talks to you. When you see those colors, they immediately talk to you. Uh, and uh, I guess he was right, you know. So that's one of the things. The other thing that I remember, it's a little story, and it has a, it has a meaning. So I'm going to tell you this little story. I'm going to try and make it as brief as I possibly can. But <clears throat> the point here is that when Cesar had got something in his head, when he had got an idea, he just wouldn't let it go. Era terco, you know what I mean? Terco? Tenacious, you know. When he got an idea, he made it work. He had just, it, might have, it could have taken months or years, but he just kept it behind, in the back of his mind until he made it flourish. And this is about the credit union. See, we have a credit union. We had a credit union in our, in our movement for a long, long time. And it's, and it's helped people, many, many farm workers. And, and I'll tell you how it's helped, because when you're a farm worker and you're not working, you go to, the, you go to get a loan and you can't get it because you're not working. And the farm workers can never understand that. It says, if I was working, I would need a loan. They, see, they just they couldn't understand. So Cesar knew that they have, we had to have a place where farm workers that weren't working could borrow money. That was his thing. And his idea was great. He presented to us, to Julio was on the board. And he, we all thought it was a good idea. Dolores, we all thought it was a great idea to have a bank, a credit union for farm workers. There was only one little minor thing that we didn't have any money to start it. We just, it's a good idea, but no money, no bread. And so, uh, weeks passed, the months passed, we kept on talking about it every time. He says, credit union would really be good. And he looked into, uh, looked into uh, getting the papers, uh, you know, the, the incorporation papers and all that. He did all that work. And finally, one day, he approached me and said, uh, Richard, this is, uh, how much do you think your little house is worth? <laughs> I said, just build me a modest little house, a little two-bedroom, just. Uh, and I said, I don't know, Cesar can probably get $3,000, 3500 at the most. And this. Why don't we go to the bank and find out? So. Sure enough, we went to the bank and we found out that I could borrow $3,700 on it. And lo and behold, we started a credit union. I, uh, I, uh, I hawked my house and got the money and Cesar started the credit union. And then we were very happy because we already had capital to, to, to start the credit union. And so we've made a lot of mistakes, but one of the mistakes we made that we announced to the farm workers that we had money to loan, to lend you. And so next day there was about 50 farm workers outside the office before we opened, ready to get their loans, and we started coming in, you know. We knew nothing about collateral or what is the other credit ratings and all that, none of that. They were farm workers that were supposed to be honest and needed money, so they came in. And the way we did it was that he was there and he took the applications and then I was there too, and he looked at me and I said, or he winked at me and says, yeah, it looks okay, you know. <laughs> it's farm workers, you know. 
And so everybody got along, obviously, because they were farm workers and they all had honest faces, you know. Uh, not knowing that a lot of them didn't have very honest faces. Any, anyway, as a joke, we, late, years later, now, we call those, we, those became, uh, became known as face loans. Okay, because we just looked at their faces and everybody qualified, so it was a face loan. And so we loaned all the money. We were very happy because all the money was gone. We loaned all the money. So now we started making, well, first month, so we're going to get so much money and we can lend some more money, not knowing that the first month was going to bring very little money. And so anyway, the, 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 the story, that, the point of the story is that, that we did, even though we, 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 I didn't see my money for about three or four years, you know, it was more than that probably when I got my list of my money, those 3700s I started with. But anyway, the, 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 the point of the story is that we did, he did establish a credit union. And all, all those face loan problems and every other problem we had, uh, that, that credit union is still in existence. And up to date now, we have loaned over $17 million. That doesn't mean that the credit is worth that much, but that's how much we have loaned, money back in that money. But I can assure you, no more face loans. We got people that are, that are, that are, they know, they're bankers. They know how to do that. They, they're, they're experts. They, they were trained in that. They, they, everybody has to qualify and so forth. But the thing is that it's a service that's been provided for many, many years to many, many people that get loans where they're not working. And so that was an idea that he had, you know. And the point of the story is that, that no matter how hard things look, how, how uh, impossible things look, it can be done, porque si se puede. And that's what Cesar said, I think that's where it came from. Si se puede, and he started credit union with my money and, and <laughs> together, but it, it happened. So if you want to do something, have a brother, lean on him, you know? And that's, that's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> so anyway, thank you very much for your time. I'm just here. Thanks.